Connor, we'll start with the big news this week. Luke Freeman, you must be delighted for him joining the club. Yeah, it's unbelievable for the club um, and the division, to be fair. Obviously, we know his pedigree. Um, he's had an unbelievable career and he's only 31, so he's probably fitter still than most people think. So we're, we're um, buzzing to have him in the door, yeah. When did uh, Luke first come onto the, the radar for you and the coaching team and how did the move come about? Hey, he's obviously, he, he played with Hutch when they were together at Yeovil, so they've still kept in contact since then. And I, remember, I think Hutch spoke to him first October, November time about potentially coming in and training and maybe just staying fit or, or getting fit with us. Um, and he said he, he'd, he'd be interested in doing that in the new year. So when it obviously came to January 1st, um, he, he came in pretty much the first week of Jan and he's been with us ever since. Thankfully, he's enjoyed it. So he was happy to, to sign for us, which is obviously a massive coup for the club. Obviously, Luke has a lot of Football League experience. What will he bring to the group? Exactly what you just said. A uh, lot of experience. He's been promoted a few times. Obviously, the most recent one last year from Champ to Prem. So isn't he's got an unbelievable amount of quality as well. You don't get to the the league appearances and the, the heights that he got to if you don't so he's an unbelievable player to have around the place and um, on our team so it's a massive signing for us. Another player we signed this week with a lot of promotion and football league experience Adam Thompson you must be delighted to get that one over the line as well. Yeah brilliant um, it's obviously always nice to add experience into your back line um, obviously we've lo we've lost Potsy um, so we, we brought in another defender so we should hopefully be a seamless transition there and he's, he's an unbelievable player. Um, as you said, he's got much experience in the in the football league and a lot of promotions on the CV. So he's an excellent signing for us. He's a big talker as well. So he'll organise and lead from the back, which is something that we we missed in the last few um, last few months. You just mentioned about the departure of Finley Potter there. How much of a loss will he be to the group? Yeah, he he done well. He done well with us last season, and he done well again this season. So of course that's a loss um, to any group. So um, we wish we wish Potty all the best. He was excellent with us, and um, we know he can have a good career. So all the best to Potty with his with his new club. And moving on now to the derby this Saturday, how have the preparations been this week? Yeah, been brilliant. It's obviously nice to have a full week to go into it. Um, obviously, the boost around the place, you can feel it with the two new signings. That always adds a, as a fresh dynamic into the group. So it's been a good buzz around the place this week. We've had a good week's training. And obviously, at any derby game, do the new new players know what this sort of fixture means to the supporters? Yeah, I think the lads that are obviously currently within the change room that have been here this season, last season, know what it means, and they've pretty made them pretty aware straight away. So obviously, Freeman's been with us anyway for a few weeks, so he knows the build up. So um, they know they know what it means to the club. Obviously, it is just another game. At the same time, we obviously want to get three points in every game, so it's just another one then that we've tried to take off and get three points in. And with having a local rivalry, this is the perfect day game to get back to winning ways. Of course. Um, I think last week, obviously, when you look at the performances, we deserved, deserved at least four points, if not all six. Um, especially against Gator, we should have had three points. We've had enough chances to win five games, never mind just the one. So but that's the way it goes sometimes. Obviously, we take the positives in terms of performances and we're creating chances. So it's only a matter of time before a few of them fly in for us. And just lastly, we've had a few players out injured. Is there any update to the team ahead of tomorrow's game? Uh, the same position we were in. Obviously, we, we know obviously Nicky come off with a slight hamstring issue against Gator, so he'll be another few days away. and. Um, he just has a knock on his knee as well, so we, we obviously brought in the reinforcements anyway, so the squad looks strong anyway. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers, guys.